We all seem to have our favourite types of filament. For me, it's this Sun Lu. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the calibration tab in the bamboo slicer to get the most out of the filaments. Let's get started. So first thing, go to the calibration tab, down to the flow dynamics, down to the bottom, malleable calibration. Then we're going to check the nozzle diameter is correct. We have the correct build plate type. And as we're going to be doing PLA, I'm just going to select the generic PLA to start with. Then click the EXT thing, which is basically external feeds. Then go down to calibrate. This will send the job to the printer. As I left the K value to 0 0.05, we just printed these lines. What you want to do is check for imperfections and pick out the straightest line and even line. In this case, it's 0 0.02. You can see if we change that first K value, you could get a lot more lines printed. So now we've entered the value we had. In this case, it was 0 0.02. And then just press finish, and that's this stage done. So the next stage, we go down to the flow rate. Again, down to the bottom and do manual calibration. Then again, same sort of thing, check the nozzle diameter, the correct build plate, and select the filament we're doing, and do calibrate. This will send the first print to the print screen. So the first print is this block of nine, all numbered 20, 15, 10, 5, 10, minus five. What you need to do is just go through, check for the most even and overall good print. In this case, it was indeed the zero, so what you'll do now in the box, you'll go down to zero or whatever number you've got, fill that in, press calibrate. Then this will take you on to the next stage, which is a finer calibration. So this stage will print 10 different blocks, numbered from minus nine to zero. Again, what you want to do is go through them all, check for imperfections, overall smoothness, and pick out which one you think is in best. So in my case, it was the minus two. So go down, fill that value. And then you can now save this filament to any name that you want. So of course, I'm gonna use Sun Lu PLA Plus because that's what it is. Now, all you want to do is go ahead and do this for all your filaments if you want to. And that's how you get the best out of any filament in this printer. I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.